What's up guys and welcome to another transfer video on the channel. First of all, I hope you guys have a good weekend and let me ask you if we can reach 400 likes in this video guys. It's really really important for me and for this new channel to grow and it only takes one second of your time. So please smash the like button, don't forget to leave a like. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want to keep following me and watching my content. Now, in today's video, we're gonna discuss the possible swap deal between Barcelona and Arsenal involving Philippe Coutinho and Gendouzi, also another swap deal involving this time Skriniar, Milan Skriniar from Internazionale and Dombele from Tottenham, we're gonna discuss that as well. And finally, Memphis Depay wants to leave Olympic Lyon and Borussia Dortmund is trying to sign him to replace Jadon Sancho, only if Jadon Sancho leaves, of course. Now check all of these and much more next in the video guys, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and, su to and subscribe if you're new. Uh, enjoy the video guys, let's go! Ok guys, today we start with newly promoted West Bromwich Albion and league inside Lille are set to fight for the services of Rangers striker Alfredo Morelos. According to the daily record, Lille will offer 19 million euros for the Colombian striker, with the bag is now keen to up their 13 million euros bid from last summer. Morelos has 77 goals in 137 appearances for Rangers. Leicester City are considering making a move for Bournemouth playmaker David Brooks. With the Cherries being relegated from the Premier League, Leicester are looking to profit by snaring the wealth international, reports the Daily Express. Brooks is also being chased by West Ham, Newcastle and Crystal Palace. Bayern Munich are optimistic they will reach an agreement over a contract extension for David Alaba and that he will in the end stay with the club for the rest of his career, according to Sherman Rummenigge. And talking about Bayern Munich, once again Sherman Rummenigge has confirmed Thiago Alcantara will not sign a new contract and is expected to leave the club. Thiago, 29 years old, has recently been linked with a move to the Premier League champions Liverpool and Bayern have accepted that his departure is imminent after sporting director failed attempts to convince him to sign an extension. Zlatan Ibrahimovic remains in negotiations with AC Milan over a new contract, reports Gianluca Di Marzio. Ibrahimovic joined the club during the winter, signing a six-month deal with the Serie A side. The club is confident that it can get a deal done, with the final decision now see to be made by the striker himself. Borussia Dortmund sporting director Michael Zorc said the Bundesliga club would be happy for Jadon Sancho to stay in the 2020-2021 season as Manchester United reportedly tried to negotiate a blockbuster transfer. Internazionale are confident that a permanent deal can be done with Manchester United for Alexis Sanchez. The Manchester Evening News reports that negotiations are at an advanced stage when it comes to the Nerazzurri keeping a player on their books who has spent the 2019-2020 campaign on loan at San Siro. Lucas Vazquez is eager to discuss a new contract at Real Madrid, reports us. The versatile forward is only tied to terms until the summer of 2021, but he would welcome the opportunity to extend his stay at Santiago Bernabeu. West Ham have overtaken Arsenal in the race to land Manchester City defender John Stones, claims the Daily Star. The Gunners have been mulling over a bid for the England international, but the Hammers now have a 22 million euros bid offer ready to go in. Tyron Mings is among those on Manchester United's summer shopping list, according to ESPN. Several options are being considered by the Red Devils in their bid to bring another center back on board, with Milan star Romagnoli another possible target. Sergio Romero is to hold showdown talks with Manchester United regarding his future. The Sun reports that the Argentine is weighing up his options now that Dean Henderson appears set to rejoin the ranks at Old Trafford with the South American set to have attracted interest from Leeds United. Brighton are plotting an ambitious raid on Arsenal for Maitland Niles, claims the Sun. The Seagulls have already snapped up Adam Lallana and Joel Veltman this summer with the versatile Emirates Stadium Academy graduate the next in their sights. 
Gareth Bale still intends to see out his contract at Real Madrid according to the Mirror. The Wales international is said to have told his national team coach Ryan Giggs that he will not be leaving Santiago Bernabeu and heading back to the Premier League. Manchester United plan on keeping Hannibal Mjbri part of their youth team plans for the 2020-2021 season, reports the Express. The 17-year-old is considered to be a hot prospect, but the Red Devils will resist the possibility to send him out on loan. Lille has signed Botman until 2025. Leeds United are looking into bringing Fabian Delft and Danny Rose back to the club according to the Daily Star. The Whites are preparing for a return to the Premier League competition and would welcome the opportunity to return two academy graduates who have stared elsewhere to their ranks. The 36-year-old goalkeeper says his surprise stint at Anfield has rekindled his passion for the game. Andy Lonergan would be open to staying on at Liverpool, but is also keen on trying his luck abroad after seeing his passion for football rekindled during the Premier League title winning campaign at Anfield. The 36-year-old made a surprise move to Anfield in the summer of 2019, however his contract is up, having made no first team appearances for the Reds. Olympic Lyon striker Memphis Depay is being considered as a possible replacement for Jadon Sancho according to Bild. The Dutchman reportedly wants to leave the league inside this summer. Portmouth are close to signing Norwich defender Sean Raget on a free transfer according to the news. The 26-year-old spent last season on loan at Fratton Park, making 38 appearances. Once again we talk about this possible swap deal, Barcelona have offered Philip Coutinho to Arsenal and Tottenham in a renewed attempt to offload the Brazilian according to the Independent. And the report claims that Arsenal are the most likely to land the former Liverpool star, with Gendouzi potentially being offered as a makeweight. The La Liga side would also receive 10 million euros from the Gunners, with Coutinho heading in the opposite direction. Napoli has finally confirmed the signing of Victor Ozime for 50 million euros. Lazio are eager to bring Manchester City midfielder David Silva to Stadio Olimpico on a free transfer according to ESPN. The Italian club held talks over a potential deal with the 34-year-old representatives in Rome last week. Silva has spent the last 10 years of his career at City, but his current contract expires at the end of the season. Schlotterbeck has completed a loan move to Union Berlin from Freiburg. Real Madrid are willing to extend Dani Ceballos' loan spell at Arsenal according to Onda Cero. The Spaniard has impressed at Emirates Stadium in the 2019-2020 season and his parent club are prepared to allow him to remain in North London for another year. Real Betis have also been linked with Ceballos, who played for the club between 2014 and 2017 but he is happy in his current surroundings at Arsenal. Max Ahrens is paying little attention to the transfer talk he is generating, with the Norwich defender prepared to leave links to the likes of Bayern Munich and Tottenham in the hands of others. Juventus are in talks to terminate Sami Khedira's contract by mutual agreements according to Calcio Mercato. The 33-year-old still has a year left to run on his current deal, but set out most of the 2019-2020 campaign through injury. Kadira missed Juve's Serie A title celebrations and is in the process of negotiating the 6 million euro severance package. Anger's fullback Nuri is the subject of interest from Manchester United and Manchester City, according to Foot Mercato. Athletic Madrid, Wolverhampton and Crystal Palace have also been linked with a 19-year-old who still has 3 years left to run on his current contract. Nuri made 17 Liga appearances for Angers in the 2019-2020 campaign, providing 2 assists. Bayer Leverkusen director Simon Rolf says that the club has not received any offer for Kai Havertz amid widespread reports that Chelsea are chasing the German star. Everton have submitted a 20 million euros bid for Real Madrid left-back Sergio Reguilon, according to Sky Sports. 
Carlo Ancelotti wants the 23-year-old to replace Tofi's legend Leighton Baines, who announced his retirement at the end of the season. Reguilon spent the 2019-2020 season on loan at Seville, helping them finish 4th in the La Liga standings. Napoli president Aurelio De Laurentiis has said that the door is open to selling Koulibaly amid rumors of interest from Manchester City. He has said that a deal could be arranged if a good offer is forthcoming later this summer. Juventus have won the battle to sign Wolverhampton striker Raul Jimenez ahead of Manchester United according to Spanish publication AS. The 29-year-old has been consistently linked with a move to Old Trafford, but he is set to choose the Serie A champions instead. Inter have ramped up talks to sign Tottenham midfielder Ndombele by offering centre-back Milan Skriniar in return. According to Di Marzio, Inter are ready to part ways with the centre-back in order to help sign Ndombele, who, who has been out of the starting eleven in Tottenham since Jose Mourinho's arrival. Once again, Internazionale have turned their attention to Atalanta stars Robin Gossens and Duvan Zapata, according to Calcio Mercato. Antonio Conte is an admirer of left-back Gossens, who is also being watched by Juventus, while Zapata has indicated he would be open to joining the San Siro side to partner with Lukaku up front if Lautaro Martinez leaves. Athletic Madrid are plotting a move for Levante goalkeeper Aitor Fernandez, Marca claims. Diego Simeone's team are looking for a backup option to Oblak for when Antonio Adan leaves for Sporting after their Champions League campaign is over and see the 29-year-old as a suitable candidate. Bayer Leverkusen and Schalke 04 are the latest clubs to show interest in Norwich fullback Max Ahrens, according to Sky Sports in Germany. Bayern Munich have emerged as one of their favourites to sign him, but they now face competition from their Bundesliga rivals, though it has been reported he would prefer to stay in England. Juventus are hoping Federico Bernardeschi will play a decisive role in their bid to sign Milic from Napoli. The Polish striker is the Serie A champion's top summer target, but Napoli are not willing to let him go cheap. Sky Sport in Italy claims the Bianconeri are offering Bernardeschi plus cash in exchange for Milic, but it remains to be seen if the former will accept a move to the Stadio San Paolo outfit. Basham signs new Sheffield United contract until the summer of 2022. Wigan has confirmed on Twitter that Paul Cook has left the club after managing the club for three years. Inter are willing to make a contract offer to Jan Vertonghen after his Tottenham departure, Gazeta de los Sport reports. The Nerazzurri have Hellas Verona centre-back Kumbula high on their list of targets, but he is considered the star of the future. Vertonghen, however, would be a good addition to the backline ahead of the next season, but they face competition from Rome. Lille has signed veteran Turkey striker Burak Yilmaz on a two-year deal. And finally, to finish this video guys, AC Milan have their eye on Netherlands international Dumfries, says Gazeta de los Sport. The Rossoneri are convinced of the 24-year-old's quality and expect PSV to hold out for around 18 million euros. We reached the end of the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Like I said in the beginning, our goal for today is 400 likes, so please smash that like button. Also, it is really, really important if you could drop a comment down below about anything that you want, guys. I always answer every comment in my videos. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Stay safe. I'm Defaults and I'll see you guys in the next video.